Hey there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build out an automated lead generation system using make.com. If you're not already familiar with make, there's a link in the description below where you can sign up for your free trial. You can create an account and then you can also upgrade to the pro plan for free. That's what I have right now, as you can see pro plan. It's usually about $20 a month. And that basically just gives you access to more credits, more runtime within make.com. So about 34% used of my credits for the month. Um, and then I'll probably just upgrade to the pro plan. I think it's like very, very affordable. But the nice thing about make is that basically it allows you to connect multiple different apps together. They've got thousands of different apps to choose from. And if you come over here to templates, you can browse through some of the the pre-made templates. So let's say, for example, you want to sync your Facebook lead ads with Google Sheets. That's something you can do. You can automate posting from your blog on WordPress, run it through ChatGPT, which will then summarize it for you and then post to Facebook. As another example, uh, you can run HTTP requests and parse JSON data that you will get back from an API call typically. And there's a lot of different things that you can do. It's all no code. So you don't actually have to know how to code. They have all of the modules for the most part built in for you here, right? So if you want to create your own scenario, you can come over to scenarios here and the left and then simply click on create a new scenario. If you want to do that, I'll just show you what it looks like. You can either build from scratch. You start with a template, which I just showed you. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to say build from scratch. And in this particular case, what I'm doing is I'm connecting to Google Sheets. So essentially, I want to create a new sheet. So create a spreadsheet, right? And then that will open up this module. Then you can connect it up to your Google Sheets uh, simply by logging in within make.com. And you can give it an, a title, a sheet name, all that. And then from there, you can just continue building out the modules. Pretty straightforward. And uh, But yeah, I'll show you how to actually build out an entire uh, automation here. So that's just an example. I'm going to go ahead and discard the changes and open up the sequence or you know automation that I've already built out. And here it is. So you can see my runtime down here, and this is what it looks like. So in order to edit it, I'm just going to come up here to edit. And I'll kind of walk you through a little bit. You don't have to understand too much about how it works, but I'll just show you kind of like the big picture view. Um, so essentially in the beginning, it, you know, it's just creating a, a spreadsheet in Google Sheets. Uh, then I give it a title and a sheet name. And then from there, it will then connect to the Google Maps API. In order to do this, you will need um, Google Cons Google Cloud, and then you can set everything up there. You will have to sign up for basically a free plan of Google Console, and then they'll give you a API key, turn on all of the, the features that you need. And then once that's connected up, you can add in the module for Google Maps. And then from there, you can pretty much just do a text search. So let's say I want to find um, I've been looking for marketing agencies recently. So marketing agencies in Bangkok, for example. And then you can also set a minimum maximum price, but in this case, I'm gonna take that out. And you can also set the limit here as well. So I want 50 marketing agencies in Bangkok in this specific example. And then I can also give it uh, a sheet name here as well, right? So that's, that's gonna be the title of the sheet, Google Sheets. And then from there, it basically calls, it does an HTTP request. Um, you can put in different parameters. In this case, it needs a place ID. And then here's where we're getting the name from the data that's coming back from the HTTP request call. And it gets the website. And then you also put your API key in here as well, which, which I'm not going to show you. Um, and then from there, it's basically you just have, you add a row to the Google Sheet. In this case, it's going to be the data result website and the name. So those are the two fields that we're getting from the previous step, the HTTP request. And then after that, once that's completed, so it finishes one step first, and then it goes to uh, search rows. So you can search for title. And then based on that, we'll call another HTTP request. Uh, it is a bit complicated. I had to follow along a tutorial to figure this 
figure out how to do this. Then once it gets the, it makes a request, it provides the data and then that's HTML. So you just put the HTML in there. And then this, I was able to get from ChatGPT. So I basically just tell it to give me a regular expression for finding email addresses. And then it's able to parse through the HTML that was returned from the previous step. And then it puts that email address into column C, right? So here it is. That's the, if I bring this up, you can see that's where the email address is, right? So that's essentially how it works in a uh, big picture nutshell, essentially. And then there's one step here as well where you can ignore. Uh, I was getting this error right here, bundle validation error. So anytime I get that, it just goes down to the ignore and moves on to the next uh, data point in the list, right? So essentially that's how it works. And now in order to run this, all I have to do is click on run. I can also schedule it as well. So if I want to schedule this to run, you know, let's say every day, every 15 minutes or so, then I can do that. But in this case, I just want to run it manually and then have it automatically generate the leads, right? So we'll see if this works. Sometimes it has bugs and it crashes. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and run it and see if the execution, execution starts, right? So right now it's chugging along here and it's creating the Google sheet. Now it's coming over and searching Google maps and you can see this is just ticking up. So right now, if I come over here to Google sheets, I can pull up the new sheet that it just created marketing agencies in Bangkok. And this is automatically populating as you can see. So it's going to generate 50 marketing agencies in Bangkok. And if everything goes according to plan, it will also uh, generate all of the emails as well. So I'm just going to expand this out and you will see in column C right here in a little bit, uh, the emails will start coming in as well. And this is 100% automated. I've considered maybe turning this into some sort of software as a service that I can provide and then people just pay a monthly fee for it. But for now, I'm mostly just using it for my own purposes. And I've also started reaching out to some people as well that, that may need this. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it's just going through and parsing the HTML from the previous step and then extracting the emails and putting them into column C right here. Now, it doesn't always get the right email. Sometimes it puts an image name in there because it's not quite working right. And sometimes they actually can't find the email. But in this case, I can easily just go to this website here and find the email address from the website. Right? But as you can see, it's uh, automatically finding the emails. There's other tools that I can use to do this as well. But I kind of like this one because I can then take these emails, put them into an email marketing platform like MailerLite, which is what I typically use and then send out emails to these people offering my, my services in this case, right? And if I come back over here, you can see it's just spinning around at this HTTP request basically, and then parsing and finding the email and inserting it into Google Sheets. You can see right here, it's added 72 rows. And I think I can also take a look at all the rows it's adding in real time as well. And that should finish relatively soon here uh, on about number 33 out of 50. And like I say, some of the, the companies that I can't find the email for, I can easily just go to this website and then find their website, find, sorry, find their email using a tool like Hunter and put it into the spreadsheet. And then I can take this, put it into an email marketing tool potentially even sell this data as well, although I don't want to do that. I uh, just want to use it for my own purposes, maybe create a software as a service as well. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. If anyone wants me to, you know, generate leads for you using this automation, or you want the entire template for yourself, let me know. The scenario has finished running and is now complete. And then if I want to do that for, let's say, you know, marketing agencies in Pattaya, Chiang Mai, Phuket, could be Koh Samui, whatever, anywhere around the world, any industry, any location is definitely possible as long as the company is on Google Maps. So hopefully you found this uh, video helpful and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. 
Please subscribe to the channel. Peace from Costa Millie. Till the next one. Take care and stay safe.